Hello and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. Well that's a bit of bad news. I was going to do uh, a sea fishing session today but apparently the weed has got really bad round the, co round the coast and in the harbour. I wanted to go out today so all I can do is fresh water. Now, I didn't want to travel, so I'm going to have a little go at tiddler fishing in the Warrington. So, let's see what happens. So, here we are then. And that up there, people, is the M27. And the Warrington, look, there's Jamie, is behind these trees. Because there was a nice little swim down there where I had loads of fish when I was here last time. And it's just in there. And there's a nice little beach down there. And that should be out of the wind. So, do you know what? I was half surprised. I'm half surprised there's nobody else here. So that's where I was fishing, just in front and around the edge of that tree there. So today, I bought my um, trotting rod with my centre pin and I've got a nice little um, float. The only uh, bait that I bought is the dendrobinas that I had in my uh, pot. So I, I'll use some little bits of worm. About an inch. We'll try an inch of worm to start with. Now, another reason for bringing the um, thirteen footer is I should be able to place it rather than cast it. Let's have a go. We'll just stick it there and just see. Yeah, I think I need to go, go further over. That's not nearly close enough to the wheat to the protection there for the fish, so. Right, just a little bit closer. Now that might be a bit better. There we go. We had a bite straight away then. And another little one. I'm guessing this is minnows because there were some minnows here, but this is I had a dace, minnows and brown trout out of here. When I fished here last time. So there's a really gentle flow. Just move it along a little bit. There's a bit of line in the tree there. I don't remember breaking off that somebody else has had a, a fish here. There we go. Yeah, these floats are meant to um, be really good for tiddlers. Jamie gave me them, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go a bit deeper. Because that's only what? That's not a foot, so let's go another six inches. See if that, see if that makes a difference then. Yeah. I want to get just in this side of that dead. No, that's on the dead bit there. That's where I want to go. So we've gone deeper. 
And straight away, there's no bites. But there was loads of fish here the other day. There we go, there's a bite. There's a bigger bite. Cool. Can't really find the fish at the moment. All right, float's moving, that's good. And it's bobbing a little bit, something's having a nibble. It's probably just minnows though. Yeah, he is moving around, isn't he? Wait for a detail. It's going up towards the weeds now. The, the twigs, the, the debris, you know. So the fish is obviously underneath there. Not going to lift into it just yet. It's going down. It's, it's having a tug, isn't it? I think it's helped by that twig that it's resting against. And now nothing. No, oh, the worm's still there. Thought that might have been an issue, that maybe the worm had been eaten, so they must have been really small fish. Yeah, I think that's me moving it. No, we're on the we're on the branch. Okay, this isn't going to end good. No, we lost the hook. Right, we've tied a new hook on. Let's um, see this time if we can cast out without getting stuck on the branch over there. I might try a little bit further away from it. But that's the trouble when you're trying to get to the structure where they're hiding underneath. There's always a risk of getting stuck on the structure. I'm using size 12s again. Hooks to nylon. They're the NGT ones. Uh, just trying little bits of worm. That might be better. Then again, it might not be. Where's the... No, the worm was there. Can't seem to find the fish today. Wonder how Jamie's getting on. He's doing a video as well, so I've, if you'd like to go over to his channel, it's called Fishing with Jamie. So please go over and give him a little subscribe. 
I know he'd appreciate it. No, that's not where I want it. That'll do. There we go, we got one. So the blanks gone. Little minnow. Let's just try gentle over there. See how we get on. So no bite, bite straight away. But there's some ripples up to the left here. Uh, just bring it out into the middle a little bit where it's deeper. See if that helps. Hang on, float's moving upstream instead of coming downstream. What's that about? There's no wind there. No, I think I'm on bottom. I think something took the bait. That's what happened there. Where are these fish then, people? Where are these fish? Yeah, this is the only problem with this um, centre pin. I can't cast very far with it. You can trot a very long way with it, but the the river here isn't very fast flowing. One thing I could do, and I've seen that you're able to do, it's like we're doing fly fishing. Pull a load of line off and put it down by your feet. That's all going out in the water, so let's try that. Never done this before. Nope. I don't know where that went. I've lost my float. Is it in the water? Oh, there it is. It's right over the far bank. <laughs> oh, well, that went a lot further than I thought. That was a success then. Okay. And we'll, we'll leave that. Oh, that worked. I'll try that again. Let's just bring it out there a bit. Oh. Yeah, what happened there? Did I lose my bait after all that? No, we got a bit on there. Let's leave that on there. Just because we're having a trial of this um, thing. Oh my god, that went up the tree right over there. Okay. It came out of the tree as well, that's a bonus. Oh, good God! <laughs> um, brilliant. I found a new way of casting, so... Oh, get off me line. Hang on, hang on, you're... Yeah, I'm not getting any bites here, but I've, I found a way of getting it up upstream. Have well, I got a worm on there? Yeah, still worm on there. See those nettles hanging up, up there? Yeah. I just got caught in them. What I've done, I've chucked a load of line down here, like you do fly fishing. Whoa, that, that, that's where I wanted to get it, right upstream. That was a plastic mark, well done, mate. Um, I've not had any bites here, mate. Really? I'm sure this is where I started, yeah. I started, but when I come in here, I haven't been over there, no. 
that is, as you see, it slopes right off. I started over here, and then I went up that way, and then I've gone up there, and I was going to go over there in a minute. But I didn't like the look of all these things get caught on yeah. coming back in. You got any more? I can't do it it's big up, I ain't got any fish yet. I might, I'm going to try a little bit further up. Oh yeah? Past you, yeah. You'd be honest with me. Not to no, there's no fish. We scared them. Oh, is there? Get out of the tree, you idiot! Hang on. Yeah, there's no fish here at all, mate. Uh, hang on, hang on. It's right. Yeah, yeah, come on. It's stupid. It doesn't look that deep there. I told you. Maybe I'm not deep enough. May thank you. Maybe I'm not deep enough. Well, I'm going to head up. I'm walking up. Mate, look. I'm not being funny. Out there. Yeah, I'll show you. Look. Well, hang on. Watch. Look. You'd be, you'd be amazed. How do you be amazing? I'm now. Oh God, I'm not deep enough. Up to my knees in it, mate. No, I'm not deep enough. Why? Is there? No, I'm not going to move. You, you've messed us swim up, mate. <laughs> no. You're right. He fell over. Right, here we go. This is the swim he was in. <clears throat> and it's really good over by that tree over there. So all I've got to do now is trot it down that way. Oh, well, that was a rubbish cast. Well, when I've come back to the first swim, and I don't know why external bike's not working, but hey, don't know what that is, but it's a very small something rather. And it wasn't a minnow anyway. And there you go. First baby trout of the day. So that was pretty interesting. Jamie came and stood next to me for a few minutes and he was using maggots where I'm using dendrobina worms and he was getting a lot more bites than I was. Sorry, mate. All right. He was getting a lot more bites than I was. He had a couple of minnows, but I put my float right next to his and they weren't touching my worms. So I was working my way through here, clearing all this stuff down so that I could sit on this mod, on this uh, tree. And you'll never guess what, what happened. trod on the rod so it's broken so that's my blooming trotting rod gone so I took the last se section off and I'm fishing with a broken rod and about time to just caught another trout Lovely. So, that's the end of my tiddler fishing session. So for today then, that's me done.